you should totally get outside and enjoy this absolutely finally wonderful weather. Uh, but first, um, I don't know, maybe, maybe look at some buildings with me. Maybe you wanna, maybe? Walk-in tour, it's time for a walk-in tour. Today's tour is gonna to be more of a driving tour because in celebration of the anniversary of my birth, which is on Saturday, mark your calendars, um, I'm gonna take you to some of my favorite buildings, I think, favorite architectural styles. Just check out the I'm gonna blow your mind, this guy with the blower, with the most beautiful part of this building. It's got some goddamn faces on it. Look at her, with her little coil fringe. So here we are, Lakeshore Branch, the Hamburg Public Library. Absolutely amazing uh, mid-century modern example of a library building. the only one who, when they see this building, wants to go rolling with the homies. Unfortunately, I don't think that my photograph, photography skills uh, really do this building justice, but it's forking adorable.
I dream of living here when I retire. I'm gonna lounge around in an all white apartment, colorful house dresses, sipping daiquiris on the rocks and watching game shows. It sounds like the life right there. Next up on the tour, we're gonna to talk about American Four Squares. It's one of my favorite types of buildings. Um, and I think that it doesn't get the credit it deserves in American architecture. Uh, so let's take some time to talk about it. Important to know that it is not necessarily a style, but rather a typology. The difference between a style and a typology is that an architectural style is defined by a very specific time period in which it existed, and then a very specific list of character defining features that all of those buildings built within that time period then share. Whereas a typology is defined by the general function and form of the building and not necessarily very tied to specific design elements or characteristics or a specific time period. Last, but certainly not least, how can I possibly have a tour of my favorite places without a stop at what is probably the best street in Western New York? It is a rather adorable street. Uh, tree-lined, beautiful, cute. Uh, it's named after Christiana Long, one of the earliest settlers of North Tonawanda. Thank you so very much, everyone, for joining me on this little mini voyage into the f buildings of Western New York that I enjoy. There's certainly way more than what I feature today, but, you know, there's only so many hours in a day. I'm going out again next week for a tour, so uh, let me know where I should go, what I should talk about, what you need to know about. I don't know. Just tell me things. Thanks. I'm good. I'm indeed, I'm a guy. I'm a need, I'm a guy. I'm a need, I'm a guy.